Okay, so this is how we start up the Blue Sun Inverter. Where the battery pack. First of all, let's just get a label. Can you, should we get a label? This is who we bought, this is who makes the battery pack. And it's, um, we just flick the breaker on, turn this on. This, we have it hooked into CAN. It's programmed for CAN default. This is just set for one. And if you have multiples, you just address them and, and then daisy chain them. But the alarm goes off. This starts up here. At first it shows a BMS comm failure right there. And then when I, I hit the, uh, the, the unlock, it goes away. Now, of course, by the way, you have a, a spelling error there. I'm going to show you guys. GERD low volume. It should be GRID low volume. G-R-I-D. This one's spelt right. So it's just a spelling error there. Now, of course, our grid's turned off. Our solar, I'm going to turn the solar on right now. And this is on the default programming because we reverted back to the factory default. And uh, PV input comes in right away. So PV1 is the voltage coming in. Um, it's quite snowy. There's not a lot of watts coming in today, so... And if I turn the grid on, I'm going to turn the grid on right now. Everything, the alarm will go away. Just give it a second. And uh, there, everything, everything cleared up. It's clicking. Error, no errors. And if you come down here to the battery, you can see the batteries, uh, it'll go back to the other status page. So the battery shows, it's already charged up. I had this battery charged up. So it shows a negative load. Now I'll put a, a heater on here. If, if we can just hang on for a second. I'm going to turn this on to, this is a heater fan, and it, uh, that's an 800 watt setting. It'll draw 9 amps. Now it's not going to draw out of the battery because we have the grid running, but I'll show you up here. That heater is what we've been testing with, and it draws... seven amps so I have it on L1 down there leg one of the phase and it draws seven amps so I'm going to take the grid off the grid's going to come off and uh, you know here's how here it clicks over here it doesn't switch over really quick but it switches over it says grid grid low value low volume so grid low volume that means the grid's turned off we understand that and uh, everything else looks normal. I'm going to come down and look. The PV's contributing, so that's working. And that's on the factory default setting. Now if we come back to the battery, the battery load, and we'll just go to that menu, is 17 amps. So for 7 amps AC, it's taken 17 amps at 48 volts to drive that fan. And uh, we found uh, over a two-day period with the firmware upgrade, we, were, we got a few of those error 14s. And maybe it's because we only have one battery running and we should have two batteries. This is only a 100 amp battery. We thought about that. But uh, this is just a small test load. It should be fine in our opinion. And uh, the, the LEDs show run. They, they don't show an alarm here, so... Maybe you guys can contact the factory of this battery and see if your firmware, if your BMSs are compatible. It, it seems to be compatible. It seems to be working to us. So I can turn the grid back on now. 
So the grid's back on now, and uh, the batteries will charge. So this just takes a second for the grid to kick over, and you'll see this goes to a charge of 16 amps, 12 amps, 22 amps. So it goes from a negative to a charge. So we're drawing about 25 amps. I have this limited to 35 amps. But to me it seems to be running properly with the battery. But I guess at Blue Sun you guys can check. So that's about it. Thank you.